Salutations, Niaja. How are you today? Okay, so <clears throat> we didn't get a chance to complete all of our word problems yesterday. So we're going to start today and do another word problem. And we're going to do, um, and instead of it being a fraction-based word problem, the two problems we're going to work on today are both going to be problems that are going to require that you use the subtract one method. Okay, now remember, anytime there is more on the bottom than there is, than there is on the top, you have to regroup. However, in the case where there is an even number that involves two or more zeros, you can use the subtract one method and you don't have to regroup. So what we're going to do is look at how you would do that and then we're going to answer the word problem. Okay? We're going to use it to solve the word problem. Okay? Excuse me. Okay. So let's just review the subtract one method once more and then we'll go from there. Okay? Oops, sorry, I forgot to do roll call. I'll go. I may. I'll go. You should say I may. Okay, now, let me see. Hmm. Is there anyone brilliant? Yes. Is there anyone amazing? Yes. Is there any chocolate covered scholars? Is there a chocolate covered scholar who is talented and gifted and made in the image of God? You. Um, let's see. Is there anyone who is blessed from the crown of their head to the sole of their feet? You, of course. So I'm so glad, Niaja, that you were able to listen in on this video. I certainly hope that the information is going to be helpful and supportive of you growing um, in your skills as a scholar, as a mathematician, and certainly as a beautiful child of God. Okay? So now... Having said all of that, let's get down to the lesson. Okay, so we were going to practice using the subtract one method. Okay, so we're going to start up here, and the number I have is 800. Okay, so if we have 800 and we need to subtract 356, the first thing we note is that it is 800. So in order to make it a, a, a number, where there'll be more on the top in each column than there is on the bottom, we're going to subtract one. Okay? So now, so let's subtract one. 799 minus 356. Okay, so now we have a new problem. Instead of it being 800 minus 356, it's 799 minus 356. And we used our mental math to subtract 1. We changed the zeros to 9, and we subtracted 1 from the, the hundreds place, okay? Because what comes after 799? 800. So we do have to practice rote counting and rote memorization. I haven't sat with you, so I don't know how well you're memorizing and how well your memory has been working. I'm certain it's working just fine, and I'm certain that your dad has been practicing it with you. But just in case you um, do need to review, we can practice that a little bit as well. And all we have to do, I was trying to think up uh, or come up with a song that you can sing, and we can, um, just so that we can practice it. So we'll work on that too. All right, so now let's look. So now we have 799 minus 356. Let's see, let's solve it. So we're gonna start in the ones column, of course. What's nine minus six? You can use your fingers if you can't remember off the top of your head. That's right, three. Okay, now what's nine minus five? Excellent, four. What's seven minus three? It's also going to be four. Very good. So our answer is 443 to 799 minus 356. However, the original problem is 800 minus 356. We have to add the one back because we took it away to make the number 799. So all we have to do is put it back. So now let's add it back. So our new answer is 444. Okay. So we did very simple steps. We used our mental math. Let's review. We used our mental math to change 800 to 799. 
Then we proceeded with subtracting 356. We ended up with a difference of 443. But because we had subtracted one at the beginning of the problem, we had to add it back. And now we have 444. So what is 800 minus 356? 444. Very good. I am so proud of you. I'm certain that you did it. I'm certain that you did a really, really wonderful job. Are we ready to go on to our word problem? I think that we are. Can you tell me? All right. Let's go ahead. Okay. So remember, when we're doing word problems, right, one of the things that we want to do is kind of figure out what are the math facts? What are the key points to kind of help us figure out what is the most appropriate um, method of operation that we can use to find our answer? Okay, so when we're talking about arithmetic, we are looking at words like difference or left or less or subtract, take away, more, add, increase, also in addition to. So some of those words will let me know, am I subtracting or am I adding? So you want to read the, you want to read the problem more than once and you want to highlight any words that sound like those words, okay? To kind of figure out what steps you need to take in order to find your answer. Then once you do, and you have to show your work, and once you've worked through to find your answer, you want to make sure you write it clearly in the space that's indicated, okay? So now let's take a look at what, we're, what we have here. Let's see. Jeremiah had 500 pencils. He gave 175 pencils to his brother Thomas. How many pencils did he have left? Let's read it again. Jeremiah had 500 pencils. He gave 175 pencils to his brother Thomas. How many pencils did he have left? Okay. So now let's kind of take a look at that. What are some of our key facts? We definitely want to look at numbers. So we have 500 and we have 175. Are there any other key facts that we need to identify? What are we doing? Hmm. He gave pencils to his brother. So he had 500. What happens when you give some away? Okay, I have five pencils. I'm going to give away two. So it does what? It shrinks, so it gets less. So what operation do we do when it's shrinking or getting less or becoming less? We subtract. Correct. So the, the proper um, means of operation or to solve the problem is going to be subtraction. Okay. So now let's write it out. And of course, I was not there. I don't know the hundred Okay, so now, what did he have to start off with? Okay, he had 500, right? And he gave away 175. So we have 500 minus 175. 500 minus 175. So how many zeros do we have in our problem? One, two. So that means we can use what method? The subtract one method. So now we're going to use our mental math. What does 500 take away one? We have to what? Change the zeros to what? Nine. Very good. And then we're going to subtract the one from the hundreds place. And so that's what? Four. Good. So 400, so 500 becomes 499. Okay, 500 becomes 499. Now let's subtract. So what I'm going to do is schedule for next week. I have my homework list. I got it. I'm going to make sure that I have it all. 9 minus 5 is 4. 9 minus 5 is 4. 9 minus 7 is 2. 4 minus 1 is what? Three. So now we have 324. And what we're going to do is we're going to use our mental math and we're going to add the one back that we subtracted in the beginning. So what is 324 minus 1? It'll be 325. Very good.
Okay. So now, let's take a look. So once we added the one back, we had 325. Okay. So now, 305. So now, we, so now we, Okay, so now, if we look at our problem, we use our subtract one method, and so when you add the one back to 324, you ended up with 325. So the final difference for 500 minus 175 is actually 325, okay? So 500 minus 175 is actually 325, okay? So um, how did you feel, how would you feel about that one? I'm certain you did well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to erase this one. And while I set up for the next one, um, I just want you to make sure that you've written your name, date, and subject, this is math, on your paper. Okay? Give me one second and I'll be right back. Person you have dialed is not able to.